beautiful Australian summer. Where would you rather be than right here at one of our fantastic beaches? You know, sometimes I will even sneak away in the middle of the day for a bit of a swim. It's perfect. But while you're here, what are you going to do? You want to have something delicious to eat. In fact, whether you're at the beach, the park, or even in your own backyard, I've got a great little recipe that has all the flavour of an Aussie summer. We're making rissoles, but they are not like rissoles you've tried before. These are deliciously different. And of course, being mince, it stays on budget as well. All right, so what we'll need is a large mixing bowl and then eight cloves of minced garlic. Now you can fight there, now you can be there. New light, new eyes with a kind of stare, yellow sun shining. Let the buses go down. Class, we'll pop in that mince. And then a couple of egg yolks, just the yolks. If you add the whites, the um, rissoles tend to puff up a bit and they can crack. And to bind it together, just a little bit of breadcrumbs. All right, so far, they do look pretty much like ordinary rissoles, I know. But what we're gonna do is add a lovely spicy flavor. It's actually a mixture of three, sumac, Turmeric and coriander seed. And it's just a matter of having oh, roughly two teaspoons of each should do it, then a little bit of salt and pepper. And at that point, you've got to knead it really thoroughly to make it all hold. This process of kneading is actually the bit that most people forget whether they're making rissoles or meatballs or anything along those lines. What it does is it actually makes the, the proteins in the meat stretchier so it all sticks together. All right, that's looking pretty good, actually. At this point, we'll divide it into eight pieces and flatten those off into discs. Now, yes, that is smaller than your classic rissole, but there's a good reason. When you're cooking them on a barbecue, you need a little bit of leeway to make sure they don't burn. Raise your Now, probably the only other thing you need to know about making these is once they're done, let them sit for at least 10 minutes before you cook them. You see, that way the breadcrumbs can soak up the liquid and you get a smoother result. But that's OK, because meanwhile, we're going to make a salad. Now, the salad we're going to make is, I'd have to say, maybe my favourite one of all time. Now, all you need to do is grab yourself some carrots, which are really cheap, and we're going to peel and grate those coarsely. The great thing about this salad is you can put the base together and leave it in the fridge and make the dressing separately. That way you can just whack it all together once you are ready for lunch at the beach or wherever you are. Same goes for the rissoles as well. Make them ahead of time, keep them cold and cook them when you get here. And then mix those with some green shallots. Those you want to slice as finely as you can. Into this, I'm going to add some chickpeas. That gives it a bit of heft, a bit of substance. But the thing that makes it unforgettable, the reason I've been making this salad so long, is the addition of both currants and toasted almonds. It gives it sweetness, it gives it crunch. It really is great. Still I shouted when I lost my sight alone. As much as anything else, I really do love the colours. Mint leaves will give it some extra perfume. While a simple dressing of lemon and olive oil is all it needs to finish it off. Once that's done, we'll start cooking those rissoles. So, I reckon it's time to oil up the grill. If you're one of those barbecuers who uh, likes fiddling with stuff non-stop while it's grilling, this is definitely the dish for you because turning these frequently is a really good idea. Uh, how will you know when they're done? Well, they should be crunchy on the outside and just firm to touch. This one's just about done. The rest are sort of chasing it not far behind. And when they are cooked, we'll serve it up with our salad and, of course, some pita bread. And this is really easy but delicious family food. Gotta move your body. 
look, in the end, I decided that it probably needed a little bit of yogurt as well. You know, that cuts through the richness of the rissoles and gives it more balance, which makes it a perfect thing to serve up for the whole family. But there's one other thing you should probably keep in mind. I've made mine with lamb, but if you want to make it with chicken or pork, whatever you like, it's, it's absolutely fine. And that versatility is one of the reasons that this is one of my all-time favourite recipes.